This is a Repke Mods video. Hi, I'm Greg Rutke of Rutke Mods. Do you own an original Xbox 360? The fat kind. Do you want to upgrade to the 320 gig that Microsoft has just released? Have you noticed that the 320 gig does not come in this case? So, you can't use this drive in the 360. Well, how different can these two drives be, you may ask. In fact, the internals, the drive itself is identical. I will show you how to take a real Microsoft Xbox 360 drive, slim model, the 320 gig, and put it into the original Xbox 360 hard drive. And the only thing you will need is a tool set and eventually a new transfer cable for your hard drive. Let's begin. Okay, let's start with a 320 gig slim cased hard drive. To open this case, it's a bit challenging. There's an edge all the way around this where the two halves meet. What you want to do, since you don't need this case, you shouldn't really be worried about damaging it. You just need a flathead screwdriver. You need to find a corner and burr a little hole in the side of it and then just start working the screwdriver around. Once you insert the screwdriver and get it in, be careful. The top of the drive is very exposed to that screwdriver so don't bend down and damage the drive. That's the last thing you want to do. Now once you get the screwdriver in you can just work it around the edges until the top comes off. And I'll show you what it looks like when you're done. Okay, once you start getting the case apart, you can just keep pulling. The adhesive's pretty strong. But it will come. And there you have it. Now the drive's free and it should just drop out in your hand, but be careful. And there's the slim case and there's your new 320 gig drive. Now now, to remove your hard drive from your case, since you're going to be reusing this case, you want to be careful. There are four screws on the outside of the case. Here, under this warranty sticker, here, and here. These are T6 screws, and you will need a Torx T6 tip. Now, I said there's a screw under this warranty sticker. You don't have to remove it. You can just push the tip of the screwdriver in until it catches. And then just twist it right out. And the sticker will come with it. But you, yourself, do not have to peel it off. Then you just start removing the other screws. 
now that those four screws are out, you can go ahead and start pulling the cover off. Now you want to be careful with this spring-loaded assembly. This is your locking mechanism, and if you knock it loose, it's quite a challenge to get back together. It's not impossible, but it's not easy either. Next step is to take this shell and remove the screws. Now this is a Chinese knockoff hard drive which doesn't have the Xbox uh, the original Xbox, uh, I like to call it the ghost partition on it. And it, it's from China. It works. It was a good drive for the two years I used it. But it, I've run out of room. So, to remove this case, you need to take these four screws out. These four screws will either be a T8 or a Phillips, depending whether if your original drive is original or not. These are Phillips. Now begin removing these screws. Once the screws are removed, this will lift right away. Now you can disconnect the drive here and start sliding this drive that way. Once the drive's disconnected, it will easily slide through here. Now that your old drive's removed, you can take your new 320 gig drive and just slide it right in. And connect it up. Now that the drive is hooked up, you can replace the metal cover And then you can replace the screws. Now if you are worried that the drive seems thinner and it may jostle around in the case, do not worry. The screws actually secure it to the shell and keeps the drive from jostling around. So even though it's thinner, it still works. You can now begin to reassemble the case. Once again, this is not an official case, so your case may look a little different, but there are other tutorials on how to take apart your drive if you have an official case. Once you've reassembled your case, make sure that the locking mechanism still works properly. If not, you may have to take it back apart and fix it. Now that the four screws are back in place, you can now take it to your axe box and plug it in. Keep your original drive and then use the sink cables, which I will show you how to do. Now you can take your freshly modified hard drive and clip it into your Xbox. Then turn on your Xbox.
First thing you do is you can verify that you have your 320 gig drive working. Go to settings, system, storage, and there you have it. All 320 gigs. It's formatted so it only shows 291. But it's still a lot more than the 250 gig drive had. So, there you have it. There is a 320 gig install on your old fat Xbox 360. Now, I will show you how to take your old hard drive and the sync cable and put your files back on your Xbox's new drive. To start this, you must have the new sync cable, the one with the SATA tips which are for the slim drives but will also work on your old drive without a case on it or if you have another case laying around you can use the other adapt uh, other transference cable if you have another case that's an original case but most people will not have that so this is how you do it you plug these tips into this hole. Once the drive is plugged in, it should look like this. Now take the USB tip of the transfer cable and plug it into the front of the console. In a few seconds, there should be a pop-up. Hit Yes, Transfer to Console, and all your media and saves from your old drive will transfer to your new drive. This will take a long time, and if you have a lot of information, it will take a few hours. And that is the 320 gig install onto a original Xbox 360 console. This has been a Rutke Mods video.